Welcome back, you fart boys and fart girls, to the Daily Hero, the best place to get your comic book, movie, TV, video game, nerd news goodness here on the internet. My name is Sean Barry, and here is today's top stories. Roar! There's a brand new anime coming to you guys in the form of Godzilla Single Point. Netflix just announced a brand new series coming sometime in 2021 after the success of two different Godzilla animes, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Godzilla City on the Edge. Guys, this animation will be coming up from the same studio that gives us My Hero Academia, and along with having Azuta Atozami uh, be the lead writer and designer of the, of the anime. Hopefully it'll be just as fun as engaging the other previous two animes, and maybe we'll have some cool stuff to look forward to. And hopefully it'll be just in time for Godzilla vs. Kong movie that's supposed to come out next May 2021. Let me know what you think down below. Ever since the Doctor Strange sequel, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was announced, fans have been going nuts with the speculation of what possibly the multiverse could bring such as past incarnation of our beloved characters like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Mans, or even fan castings of previously rumored films like Tom Cruise's Iron Man, Nick Cage's Superman. I didn't realize that's DC, but you guys get the point. Well, the latest one is that Kevin Feige wants to do it all. Bring it, that's just gonna be a way of his bringing in the X-Men to the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe as a whole, but only taking the good parts, such as Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, uh, uh, James Marsden as Cyclops, uh, Michael Fassbender as Magneto, and a brand new Quicksilver into the MCU. Now, guys, these are just hot, hot rumors at the moment. That don't take them with a big, big grain of salt. There's probably some validity there. They want to do some fun with the multiverse and bring in new characters and probably bring in a brand new set of X-Men into the, into the main Earth-616. But I doubt, I highly, highly doubt Hugh Jackman's coming back. Just is my thinking. But we might get Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. So guys, let me know what you think down below. Warner Brothers Animation has just announced a brand new animated feature film called Bat Wheels. That's right, the beloved Batmobile, the Batgirl cycle, the Batwing, Red Robin cycle are all going to be coming to us in a brand new animated film. And I am just so excited. <laughs> I won't lie to you guys, it's a pretty slow news day. It's uh, not a lot going on. But, you know, I mean, if you have kids, I bet this will be a fun, cute little film. I mean, who doesn't like talking cars? And who doesn't like a talking back car? You know, that could be fun. I mean, they could do different versions. They could do the Adam West classic car, the uh, Michael Keaton car, the Christian Bale car. You know, I mean, they could drive around Gotham, and I'm sure there'll be a Joker mobile they have to stop or something. You know, I mean... We need some. We need some movies to come out. We really do. This is this is this is, this is too long. I I am really tired of this coronavirus. I am. <laughs> well, let me know what you guys think about Bat Wheels. Uh, hopefully tomorrow there'll be some better stories. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. Very light news, but you guys can check out the Hero Network Patreon, uh, Hero Network TV on Patreon, guys. You get exclusive podcasts, behind-the-scenes information, scoops, all the things you want to do. You can join our Discord and be part of our community. It's all a lot of fun. Check, like, share, subscribe on this video. Uh, hit me up at BigBerry63 on Instagram. Hit me up at BigBerry Comedy on TikTok, guys. I post a lot of my stand-up bits. Not really nerdy-related news, but they might make you laugh for 10, you know, 15 to 20 seconds. That's what I'm aiming to do every time. So that, guys. I I will see you tomorrow.